Hello and welcome back to ChiefTutor.com, Training with Chief Architect version 10. In this video we'll be going over the basics of their electrical tool. So let's go ahead and click on that and we'll notice the child's pop up to the right. And you have your outlets, your 220 volt outlets, your lights, switches, your connections, your auto place, and of course the library. L would open up the library and go right to the electrical department. But let's go ahead and just go through some of the basics here. We're going to close this, center that up. Here I have drawn up a basic bathroom and kitchen. And if I click on the electrical tool, what it defaults as is my outlet. And if I click an outlet near a wall, it will appear on the wall just like this. It also appears on the wall in 3D, which is nice. We know where it is. We also have the option to click on it and use this auto place outlets. And when you click inside a room, it deciphers the room and places the electrical accordingly. Now, it doesn't do it 100% accurately, but look what it did do. It raised up the electrical to the height where it needed to be and lowered to where it needs to be lowered. But it doesn't always understand where windows and doors might be, so you just have to double check yourself. As well as the cabinets can be adjusted to these windows. Not an electrical issue, but you get the point. You know, I want it to be the same. You know me, I'm perfectionist. 40, 41, 40, 41, okay. So the electrical is placed just fine. And now we can go and we can actual cho actually choose the 220 volt where we might need it and the lighting. But I'm going to continue with this auto place. So I'm going to go in the bathroom and click one time. And notice what happened. It automatically gave us a GFI, which is now standard for, I believe, every state in America, as well as it gave us a light fixture. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the window, the wall cross elevation, take a look, and there it is. It gave me my GFI, and it gave me my light switch, or excuse me, my light fixture. Okay. If you were to click next on the light fixture, you can also place light fixtures in the ceiling. Or if you get it close to a wall, it turns into the wall mount. And of course, if you double click the electrical tool, you have that option to change what the default is for what version of electrical you're working with. So I'm going to go in here now and I'm going to choose switch. And I'm going to hang a switch right on the wall like that. Another one here and another one by this door. And I'm going to go ahead and link up this switch with that light by using the connection. I simply start with the electrical, holding down my left mouse button, I drag and drop it to where I want it to go, and it places a line there. That was kind of hard to see, so let's do it here. Switch to light, light to light, and then light to, well, let's say this light, and then light back to this switch. Now watch what happens when I connect it to this switch. Whoop absolutely nothing pretty cool let's try again there it goes and it now becomes a three switch or a three-way switch you also have the ability to click on those connection lines and drag them in any direction creating a different type of arc you can even make a specialty arc by dragging it like this just to kind of get it out of the way of where it might be in like we don't want it to be on that word I want to draw it out like that for attention. And there we go. Nice clean lines of switches. So that's been the electrical tool. It's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. And if you need a custom electrical item, again, hit the library, go down to exactly what you're looking for, grab it, and place it in the plan. If it is an electrical item, it should show up as red or on the same layer. Because again, in the defaults layer, if we were going to the electrical, well, notice that it's always red is set as the default. Of course, you can change that if you like to. You can also change the thickness. When you're doing plan styles and you want to show the electrical, I like to raise this up to, say, 10. That way it shows very specifically, hey, this is where all the electrical is, and it's a nice, thick, long layer. Okay, that's been Messing with Electrical with Chief Architect version 10, only here at ChiefTutor.com.